Hey guys, welcome back to Gabby's World. So, I haven't posted in about two years, but now I'm ten. And, um, I'm gonna make banana bread. So, I, in here, I'm not gonna give you exact me measurements, but I'll put them in the description down below. But right here, I have vegetable oil, brown sugar, and eggs. So, right now, I'm gonna add the flour, which is two cups. Of flour. What kind of flour is that? All purpose. Do you have a preference? Um, I guess um, probably um, no. No, not really. <laughs> okay, mix it up. Any flour really works. Do you buy bleached or unbleached? Unbleached. Okay, so you do have a preference. I do have a preference because they bleach the flour and then they put the stuff back in it. Uh -huh. I have bleach flour, you're eating bleach. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm really hungry right now. My mom's eating like, um, protein, ice, water, and... Strawberries. Strawberries, like two strawberries. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. Pause this, please. Okay. Okay, what are you gonna okay. put in now? So once that's mixed, we're gonna add one teaspoon, teaspoon of baking soda. So. Now I'm gonna do this over it because I don't wanna get it on the counter that I just cleaned. That didn't work very well. No, it didn't. That's one eighth. Just do another one. Yeah. Yeah, hold the black part. Yeah, apparently that's what we need to do. Technical difficulties. That works. Because we already had two. Okay. Good and enough. what's next? Then we're going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Which is basically, you can just sprinkle some cinnamon in there. Yeah. You don't have to be exact with the cinnamon and nutmeg. Have some fun with that. That's good cinnamon, too. Here. There you go. That works. And then, for the rest, it's just one fourth of a teaspoon. So, I might actually know that Vanilla. Oh, that's going to be vanilla y. Okay. It's alright, you can't go wrong with vanilla. Well, we need nutmeg too. Nutmeg. Some people don't put cinnamon in their banana bread. And it tastes good like that too. Yeah, it tastes good anyway. Oh, that smells really good. Uh, it's almost going to smell like Christmas. It does smell like Christmas. I really love summer, but I also really love Christmas. I like Christmas because I can get stuff from Santa. I like Christmas because everybody's nice to each other and in a good mood. It's all stuck in my whisk. So whisk it hard. Whisk it. Whisk it good. Uh, 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 uh. No, I'm going to use a fork. Use the fork. Technical difficulties. So. Okay, show people what happens when it gets stuck in the whisk. That's why from this point forward, you could probably use a wooden spoon. Just a thought. Just a thought. So you could bang that out and get a spoon. We'll pause it while you do that. Yeah. Okay, so once that's mixed, that's mixed. Um, correcting myself. Add your, how many bananas you want. So we just added three, because that's what we had. But I prefer them to be like, really dark, like darker, so they're mushier. Or unless you don't want mushy bananas, then that's okay. Um, they're sweeter when they're mushier too. Yeah. The uglier they are, the better. The better. That was one. You had one really ugly banana in there. Yeah. And then, so I already um, preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And, yeah, it happens to get short. Shake it, shake it. There you go. And I got some flour, so... I'll be right back with some flour. Okay, go get the flour. We'll wait for you. Bring the flour right over here. 
Put a sprinkle in. Here she comes in her footy PJs. And then just shake it, shake it. Don't rub it. Shake it. You know, yeah, bang it. I feel like you're gonna get that everywhere. That is not a good way to show children how to do the flower. Do it better than that. That's actually not bad. It could have been worse. Wait. How's the floor? Uh, flowery. We have to clean it anyways. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Yum. Can I have some of that? Is that fat free, carb free, and high protein? And air free? Oh, I can eat air. No. Well, no, it's not. Okay. Anything. So I can't have any. No. So you're going to keep it hidden gonna, in your bedroom? No, I'm going to tease you with it. That's not very nice. No. <laughs> now, if you want to tease me with it, you could, when it's done, take a slice out and put it in a pan with some butter and grill it and then slather it with peanut butter. I hate peanut butter. You are not my child. <laughs> peanut butter is great, right, Damien? What? Peanut butter is great. To some extent. To some extent? Excuse. Ugh. Too much of it's disgusting. <laughs> no, I'm going to disown you. I would eat an entire jar of peanut butter right now. You're gross. I love peanut no! butter. No! I would eat an entire jar of pickles. Yeah, I, I would do that too. Pepper and seedies. Okay. So, once... <laughs> oh, it's going to go in the oven. And what we can do is, you can make the thumbnail of your video a picture of the final product so they can see it. But, but, um, yeah, 350. And, um, make sure you put it in for 15 minutes or less or more. And how do you know if it's done? Uh, get a toothpick and push it in and if it has when you take it out if it has like goop on it it's not ready but if it just comes out clean it's good okay cool cool and, uh